Hello? Yeah, what is up guys? That's Monkeys here. Um, I'm bringing you a sh uh, short tutorial on how to do an intro that I made a while back. If you would like to check it out, it's this intro right here. But before I show you the intro, um, I just want to say that uh, this was a request video from Chaotic Clan. So if you want to check them out, subscribe to them on YouTube. This is that. This was their idea. Um, so yeah, just check them out. I'll, I'll leave a link to their channel in the description. I'm talking kind of. I'm talking kind of fast. Yeah. Um. So before I start, I want to say that I've been very busy lately, so that's why I haven't been uploading. I, I know I wanted to say that I'll upload more voice activity videos. I don't know why it's activity. Um, such as gaming tutorials, but I've been very busy lately with school, so. As everybody else excuses, but school is school. Not much I can do. So, and this is my first time doing a uh, tutorial, so please bear with me, cause I may not be the best at doing this, but yeah. So this is the um, intro we're making. Yeah, if you don't know about that, check out my channel. It should be down below. Um, I believe it's called Logo Intro Simple Clean Something. Yeah, blah blah blah. So I'm gonna show you how to make that basically. It's pretty easy, but I'm not sure if I can remember every specific thing. But if you want this, like you could adjust it to the way you want it to be. So this is your intro that you want to do. So let's start. First, you need After Effects, of course. So open that up, and first thing I did to start this off was open up a texture for like a background that we use. Open new comp new composition. Yeah. Well, if you wonder why my why my light was like this, is on effect, so I just change that to standard way it is most of y'all have it so let me open up the background I'll be using I'll be using this I'll put on a blue instead of an orange one I had before so try something different drag that on there drag it down well not drag it down but just drag it into there uh expand it <coughs> excuse me um yeah so Zoom on a bit. It's pretty big. I'll put. I'll leave that there for like a black line effect. But yeah. So yeah. So I'll upload the background. You see now. So first thing you want to do. Um. All right. So um. It, like I have a logo that pops up in slow motion, fades in like this right here. I did this in Photoshop, and you can make your own logo. But I'm gonna use a different one instead of this one. I don't know how to make this one, it was just made out of randomness, boredom, and I am somehow just started using it, but I got a new logo, if you, if you see in my channel. Right here, yeah. So, I'll load my, my PNG logo. All it is is just pictures, there's no special effects videos, but what you need for this is CC Particle World. Wow, I'm talking a lot and my mouth is getting dry. Um, so I'll open up my my PNG, my logo. What is it? Uh, editing packs, icons. Where is it? No, this one right here. I use this and then I put. Where is this definitely? Uh. Let me load this onto your first real quick. And then. Um. Trying to find the um bottom words where it said the deaf monkeys in the bottom has to fade in separately instead of the same time. Right here, so. Try to on. You can just do this in, you know, Photoshop. Simple typing and ex exporting. So first, first thing, um, put on, just go to your search bar and effects and presets and type in CC particle. Let me take this off. I got a uh, keyboard protector. It's hard for me to type. I'm sorry if my mouse is pretty loud, but yeah. CC particle. Where you drag that on top. Um, no, no. Um, layer first. New, solid. Blah, drop that on top. Now it's you know you can see through it. Uh, if you wanted to start, like if you wanted to not fade in later on when it starts, or you just wanted to be there already, like I had it. Um, just this black line. No, I'll just make the picture bigger. 
No, no, no. Yeah, just make it fit onto there. And so time to do the uh, particles. So what you want to open up is physics, particle, and producer. Uh, you know, expand this a bit as it kind of pops in. See, that's pretty well. And, you know, it's got a nice speed. So, uh, I don't think I messed with that, but animation. Twirly, I believe I had it. No, no. Um, well, you could do this for your own because this is your intro. It'll make it different. But as I had it, I think it was just on explosive, I guess. Yeah, so um, particle type, I had mine on triangular, wait, no, tri-polygon, you see? And then all you got to do is change the color. I change it to something that matches, so I guess gray and blue. It's pretty hard to see, so I'm going to make it more distinctive brighter blue I guess and uh, lighter gray so then oh yeah so instead of it like all coming through the middle as it seems I kinda just make it start from the top wait no get rid of the grid cause it's just what blocking it from going any farther so what I do is go down to uh, Gridding guides. Uh, take off grid, and it. Oh well, no! Just drag that down. Yeah. So now it kind of spreads across the whole thing. But let me make it so it's wider, so it looks so weird and just so skinny in the middle. This is my first touch, so ah, uh, really getting tired. Alright, so that's it, yeah. You got the particles in the background moving around how you like it. Um, you add your own choice of music, of course. Uh, I don't need it to be four minutes. I mean, uh, well, four seconds. No, yeah, leave it at four seconds. And then, so let's do with the text. The text that pops in, the fade in. Probably the easiest thing in here, so just drag that on the, in the timeline below. And then... Why is it not popping up? I think you have to drag it directly on the thing. Yeah. So, let's put that on the bottom here. Then I drag this right here. Let me click out. Drag this on here. It don't really match with the text below, but still, it don't matter. Uh, scale it down, I guess. Makes it look more cleaner. Yeah, so now you got the text in and everything. Now you all you gotta do is um pretty much keyframe everything to fade in and then fade out, which is probably the easiest thing that you ever do. And probably the most important thing you do in After Effects. So let's open this uh no. So you click on you click on the um the file that you put into the um video. Go to effect no um no layer time Wait, wait. Layer time. I can't time remap. Um, so what I do? I guess it was just op opacity. Let me. Yeah. So start from the beginning. So notice that if my video it didn't fade in automatically, I waited a couple of seconds. So I guess around like. Three seconds is good, I guess. One, two, two seconds. So, bring the opacity all the way down. Keyframe that. Go over about like one or two frames, and then bring it all the way up to a hundred. So you see that it will fade in. I uh, come on. Oh no 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 wait yeah. Um, the first keyframe have to be at the very beginning. So, bring that down to zero. Keyframe, 
move it up a couple of seconds uh keyframe it up to 100 percent add by itself so when you play through it it kind of just fades in pretty nicely like that so now do the same exact thing to the words except i made it pop in later so i guess i'll keyframe it let's start from right here so let me close this down like i said this is very easy tutorial so nothing special about it bring the opacity all the way down to zero keyframe that move a couple of seconds up and bring all the way up to 100 and now phase in first this first the um dfm signs um not signing phase in and now later on the the text pops up deaf monkeys <coughs> I'm sorry if I'm going a little fast or talking a little fast. I'm trying to get this done before my like my members get home. So I don't know for me to fit out the end. But Well yeah, same as I think for the um to make it fit out an end, except that you start from hundred percent to zero opacity. And this is going longer than expected. Um so what you want to do is I open up both of them, make it make it disappear at the same time. So opacity, keyframe that, go down to here, keyframe that, move it over to the end, and then keyframe it to zero, and then go up to the other one and keyframe it to zero, and now you see it fade out at the same time. And then now, if you're wondering how I made the words wiggle. It's just another effect. Should just type in wiggle. I don't know the exact one I used. It was probably uh, gelatin, I believe. So I only had the top part. I only had the top part moving, so I'm gonna drag that one to there. And then don't need to be so extreme. I had it very low. No, it wasn't gelatin. It was position. So, drag that on there. I believe I had like a 14. Yeah, so, um, that's it. Hope you enjoy, but, um, just to make it look a little bit better, I'll add a vignette to it or a color correction. And then all you gotta do, if you, all you gotta do is just add the type of music you want. But,. Cannot. Well, alright, so drag that on there. Don't need to be so dark, so intensity. And then effect magic bullets look. This, like, I'm, I'm too lazy to make my own color correction, so I just got this. And got a couple of pretty cool effects on here. Try a legendary, but no, uh too dark I guess this is pretty good right here yeah it's pretty nice and then that's it so I'm a RAM preview I'm a RAM preview I'll be back I'll show you how it is and then you'll see all right so yeah um I Instead of RAM previewing it, I just exported it, and I did make a couple. Uh, did make a couple of changes. I uh, put the gravity all the way down to zero, and the velocity down to uh, like to the number point. Yeah, whatever. I put a point sixty one. No, that's long to be point sixty five. So um, this is it out right here. There's no music in the back, but yeah, this is the basic intro. Of how you want to see it? You add your own music, and then that's it. Intro is done. So guys, don't forget to check out my um, other videos, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.